there Libra welcome to my sector of the universe this is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you help you step into your truth and star into your power for those of you who've never been here before welcome thank you so much for being here for those of you who are coming back thanks so much for returning to watch another one of my videos if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and support the channel by subscribing Liking this video so it boosts the algorithm helps me out to get these messages out there, guys. The truth needs to get out there. You guys are all about the truth, Libra. Um, if you're my member, Capella member, thank you so much for your lovely loyalty and your support. Uh, we're going to look into what you need to be cognizant of for the beginning of April, Libra. What you need to be aware of. What you may be out of alignment with for the beginning of the month what uh, guidance Holy Spirit has for you to help you navigate these energies for the beginning of April to help you with your spiritual growth, your evolution, your soul, and your healing because that is what this is about. And lastly, we're going to look into what needs to be healed for the beginning of April and how you can go about healing those things with my essential oils and lotions and not my stuff, not yet at least. Um, and other guidance for that on what needs to heal all right so libra there will be an extended for this but this is going to be a love reading for the month of april we're going to look into what energies are surrounding your connection for the month of april there's strong union energy happening everywhere uh we'll also look into what's blocking your union what's blocking your connection what's blocking progress what's blocking communication all right, and uh, after that, we'll look into what your person is dealing with for the month. And we'll also get messages from your person with my Oracle deck, all right? Um, so yeah, there's only gonna be one extended per zodiac sign per month and it's gonna be a love reading, all right? To help you better understand the connection. So these two cards came out horizontally, but I'm gonna read them in the upright. We have Sagittarius energy with temperance. Okay. And we have the Princess of Cups, the Page of Cups. We just had lightning hit here. And now people are doing the long. Anyway, carry on. So. Temperance in Princess of Cups. With the chariot at the bottom of the deck, some energy just shifted out of nowhere. That's the energy of the chariot card right here, Cancer energy. There's something about this moon in Cancer. Moon is in Cancer right now as I'm recording this, and Mars is there. It's conjuncting today. So I'm recording this on March 28th. If you're interested in getting astrology reports and understanding how that's affecting you on a daily basis, you can subscribe to my weekly astrology um, uh, subscription <laughs> if you want to get additional guidance on that. Check out the description box below for more information on that stuff. So, all right, guys. What I'm getting with this is, for some of you, there is communication coming in. Somebody has overcome a lot of battles and struggles with their fears, with their um, insecurities, okay? Uh, somebody has really been focusing on their healing, especially their inner child. There's been a lot of inner child trauma, emotional trauma, They've had a hard time being vulnerable and speaking up for themselves, speaking up, uh, speaking how they feel. Okay. They've been learning to feel more at peace with themselves, more at peace with what happened in their childhood as well. Okay. And they're deciding, telling themselves, you know what? I can't keep holding all of this information in. I can't keep holding my feelings to myself, blocking myself from being vulnerable, that type of thing. Somebody had to undergo a lot of inner child healing here because there was a lot of trauma, okay? Yet for, for this person, with the chariot here, they're feeling free and clear. They have a lot more self-esteem. 
they feel like their hands are up in the air. Oh my God, it's the Wish You Were Here song by Incubus. Right? Go listen to that song. That's a badass song. I love that song. That's how that person's feeling right now with that Incubus song, Wish You Were Here. Got my hands up in the air. Women like I just don't care. That's not that song, but that's another song. Anyway, they feel so liberated right now because they've really overcome some serious battles and challenges with all of this deep emotion, the vulnerabilities, the insecurities about being who they are and expressing how they feel. They've learned how to express themselves in a way that is creative, it's musical, it's artistic, and it helps them to be at peace. Because this person has been trying so hard to stay on track with trusting their intuition and following what their heart's telling them to do. But it's like a, a tendency to pull back because of it, because of the fear surrounding this. And they had to learn how to trust God and where God was leading them on this path. You need to follow your heart. You need to follow your intuition. Even if it leads into like a poor situation or something doesn't go right. There's out of something good, out of something bad comes something good. Out of something negative comes something positive. This is spiritual growth. This is trusting where God is leading you to. That's the energy of the chariot. God leads the way. This is going the distance. This is trusting where God is leading to because God always leads us to victory. But we still have to overcome the challenges and the obstacles to boost our self-esteem, to boost our resilience, to boost our strength, to boost our faith and trust in God. And when we hit a bump in the road, like with the chariot card, we still have trust that God is going to lead us in that direction to where we need to be. It's part of our path. So this person is no longer getting hung up on following their heart and listening to intuition. Let alone expressing themselves. Because this person has found victory, found great success in learning how to better communicate from their heart space in an artistic, creative, musical way. Because society tells us you have to tell somebody or text someone that they love you. You have to tell someone in words, in, in writing or something, how you feel. Like it's the only way when it isn't. And in a lot of relationships, we get caught up in like, you need to tell me you love me. I need to hear from you. I need you to hear you say it every day or text it to me every day so that I know where's the feeling in this. That's why when we're in these divine counterpart connections, God's teaching us to feel, to trust what we feel. Words are words. Words do carry a vibration, but love carries a very different one. The heart carries a very different frequency, okay? It's the frequency of agape love, which it should be at. So we're, this person's, we also have to better understand feeling is everything. The vibes don't lie, okay? You don't need communication from your person all the time with regards to how they're feeling about you. You can, I've said this before, you can have somebody tell you I love you any given day, but what meaning does that really have? For the people who love you, Libra, this is a question to ask yourself. Have you felt euphoria? Have you felt bliss from those people the way that you do with your person? And your person has not said I love you to you yet? They have not communicated to you in the physical through a text or an email or something, or said to your face with words how they feel, does that feeling feel the same? In other relationships when they told you I love you, does this love that you feel from your person feel the same exact way as when somebody has told you those three words? I bet you a million dollars, no. So why get hung up on the communication piece of this? Why are you getting hung up on this? For some of you, 
you're not in a place of peace because you're not getting communication because you need to know. No, you don't. Because you already know. You're intuitive yourselves. You're psychic yourselves, Libra. So this person is, is, has found a way for some of you to learn how to communicate what's here. Okay. And they feel at peace now with the temperance card. They're like, you know what? I can express my love for Libra in a way that is different from other people. I can express it in a way that is comfortable for me because everybody has different love languages. Everyone. And you guys are air. You prefer communication. Words. Writing. Whatever. Not your person, Libra. They're very, very different. Very different. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's a new thing for them, Libra, to be able to communicate in this manner because they haven't been able to before. And in other relationships, people have said to them, you need to tell me. Why can you not tell me or text me? No. And this person locked up because of that. I can't. I don't really know how. I, they can say the I love you to your face every now and again, but you're not going to hear it that often. You're not going to hear exactly how they feel about you when you're in a conversation. It's not going to happen all the time. So some of you Librans are going to have to get used to that. Because of the type of connection that you have. It's based off of feeling. It's based off of intuition. It's based off of the 5D. The 5D doesn't deal with anything in the physical, Libra. There's also for others of you with this temperance card. Living life in moderation, going with the flow. And trusting in your psychic abilities, your intuition. Trusting in your dreams. But you can't dream all the time and not do anything about it. you got to be action-oriented with this chariot card. you got to get in the chariot and drive it. Okay? You can't just sit there waiting for the shoe to drop and just hoping that you'll get communication or you're hoping that you're going to heal or you're uh, magically without doing the work. You're hoping that... Um, your psychic abilities and your dreams are going to come to fruition. Your psychic abilities are going to be heightened or your dreams are going to come to fruition by doing nothing. Know that as you're doing your inner child healing for you, Libra, that there are going to be bumps in the way. There are going to be obstacles. But you are going to have the power to overcome them. You're going to have that willpower and fortitude to break through those barriers, to go, get over those, those bumps in the road, those, those obstacles. Because you're being prepared for what's to come down the line. You're being prepared for mission. Because when people try to get in your way, you're not going to be, you're going to be unstoppable. You're going to be a force to be reckoned with. You're going to be unshakable. This is what God is preparing you for. Okay. It's just not having love in your life and having romance and coming to you with your person. It's way more than that. You're being asked to find ways to get you to a state of balance and peace. There's also learning how to have patience and trusting in divine timing with this temperance card. Everything has to occur in divine timing. And this deals with perfect orchestration, which deals with the astrological transits maybe some of you need to better understand astrology and I don't know if I mentioned this already I do now have a, uh, a weekly astrology subscription on my website or you can click on the link below so that you can get 
astrology reports every day and guidance guidance and, and insight as to how those transits are affecting you by your sun, your rising sign, or by element, air, fire, water, earth. Because the astrology affects all of us differently. Okay. And no matter what you're going through on this path, Libra, you're going to get to a state of peace and balance no matter what gets thrown in your way. And you're going to continue to trust and follow what God is telling you to do. Your path, your mission, your intuition. Because people are going to try to disrupt it. People are going to try to get you to second guess and tell you, no, that's not the path you're supposed to be on. No, you're not supposed to be headed in that direction. Where are you going, Libra? This is not happening. Okay. Um... There's a huge patience that's going to be required here. Um, Libra, with regards to your inner child healing. You're on the right track. You just got to keep moving forward. You got to take action. If you're not taking action and doing your healing, this is the time to do it. Do some yoga, do some Tai Chi, self-care routines type of thing. You will be successful as long as you stay the course. And with that hands up in the air with this chariot, it's funny because the chariot's got wheels on it. You're letting go of the steering wheel and you're letting God drive the chariot. But you have to have a balance with you knowing when to take action and to take control of situations in your life and when God needs to take over. Okay? That is something that's going to be worked out for quite some time. It took me years to master that. All right? So trust that you are on the right path. If you're seeing 77 seven or 777, seven, seven, that's meaning you are on the right track. You are on the path that God is telling you to be on, even if it doesn't seem like it. God is leading you to miracles. He's leading you to abundance. He's leading you to where you need to be, to your life's purpose. But patience is going to be required here. Okay. Patience is a virtue. I know that's cliche. Why do I want to say Nick cliche? If Nick cliche happens to be a Libra son, I'm going to freak out. I don't know why he came up cause only because I said cliche. Anyway, here. Make sure you're expressing yourself in a creative way. Utilizing your psychic gifts in a creative way. Finding a balance between doing your page of cups thingy, your psychic gifts, your tarot reading if you're a tarot reader, uh, your artistic stuff. Having a balance between that and having some fun. Because this chariot, she's having a grand old time on this like toy chariot here. It's like she's on a roller coaster, but the roller coaster went off the rails and she's like, ah, the world's a roller coaster and I am not strapped in. Maybe I should hold with care, but my hands are busy in the air. I wish you were here. Incubus. That's because you're letting God take over. And you're doing what you need to do. And just going with the flow. And just maintaining your inner peace as you're going through this crazy hyper coaster of life. Oh, my diffuser timer went off. All right. 
let's look into what you are out of alignment with. I hope it's not getting too dark in here. Uh, I may need to turn on this light. I don't like this light. Hold on a second. Hmm. It is what it is. I forgot to turn on my other lamps. It got darker because it was stormy here a little bit. And I think we're, there's more of the um, storm to come our way. Anyway, Libra, we're going to see what may, what you may be out of alignment with for the beginning of April, 2023. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Plating Series. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. I just heard, I'm looking at the chariot card. Something is now perfectly orchestrated for things to take a leap forward with that chariot card. Someone is going to make an apology to you, give you an offer, a romantic gesture, an invitation, a proposal of some sort, going on a trip, going on, on, on a vacation with the chariot card. Someone could very well be traveling to you to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, opening their heart up to you, apologizing, speaking from a very vulnerable place. Um, somebody could be on their way already. Somebody's moving towards you, Libra, for those of you who are aligned with this energy to come in, for this person to come in. Uh, that just came out of nowhere, so that's for somebody. Let's see what you're out of alignment with for the beginning of April. 2023, Holy Spirit. That was a weird, and it came out of the reverse, but I don't read reversals for this. Or it could be, it came out of the reverse, because some of you are out of alignment with your power. Your willpower, your drive, your ambition to keep going. So I did read it in the reverse. You've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do it. Trusting your intuition. Listen to it. Stay the course. The chariot is my um, Thomas the train, but it's really the little engine that could card, even though they're not the same train. I think I can. I think I can. It's going the distance. Wow. You've got a lot of power. There's like all this is driven by willpower here. God's really working on your willpower to keep moving forward, to stay on the path. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. I would not be surprised if one of the flower essential oils came up, one of them being rose. All right. So a lot of you are out of alignment with your personal power here. It's like emperor energy. The energy of the chariot, willpower, your confidence, your self-esteem. I have control over this. I, I know where I'm going because God is leading me to where I need to be. Uh, again, knowing when to take action and when not to. You've got the power. That's a song, right? I forgot who it's by. You drew this card as a reminder that you're more powerful than you realize. Perhaps you've been feeling victimized lately. Well, the fairies want you to know that regardless of your age, size, or education, you've got incredible personal power. Even though the fairies are tiny beings, they channel the force of God and the universe, and you can also use it to resolve an issue. Heal yourself or another or manifest your material needs. All you have to do is believe. Additional meanings are let go of blame and focus upon solutions. Conduct energy healing work, especially through your hands. <coughs> Excuse me. Engage in strength training exercises such as weightlifting. Follow your inner guidance to resolve a situation. Become an activist for an issue that's near and dear to your heart. Speak your truth to yourself and others. <coughs> I don't know what's going on right there. It's almost like if I speak my truth or I'm kind of like talking about what you're out of alignment with or I'm giving you the blunt truth, like someone tries to interfere with that when I'm doing the readings. If that's you, it's not going to work. It never does. This card signifies that you'll benefit from the balancing and healing properties of flowers. Spend time in a garden or even at a florist shop. 
and surround your home with fresh flowers. As you breathe in the fragrances, feel their magical healing abilities bathing every cell of your body. That's why I've got my lilies in here. Even though my Alstroemeria doesn't really smell, it's, it's giving me some flower power either way because it's nature. Buy a bottle or two of pure flower essences, which are available at most health food stores. Use rose oil to open your heart to love. I talked about roses, for instance, or sprinkle lavender oil on your pillows and sheets to calm your nerves. Additional meanings are use flower essences in your healing work with others, study aromatherapy, make sachets or dried lavender eye pillows, plant a flower garden, send a loved one some flowers. Maybe somebody is going to give you flowers or they're going to send you flowers. It's like showing up at your door. This chariot is unexpected visitor and they're being led by the divine to do this. They're trusting in the divine. They're throwing their hands up in the air. Like, you know what? I'm going to give God. He's going to lead the way. God's telling me to send the flowers. God's telling me to show up at the door. God's telling me to tell them how I feel or a romantic gesture. That is a flower. Giving them flowers or something. Maybe it's your favorite flower. I was talking about my lilies or whatever, right? Um, somebody's going to be very impressed because somebody knows more than you think about you. Um, Maybe with a chariot, this is trusting your intuition about you need to move. You need to relocate. Find a new house. That came out of nowhere. Um, don't worry about it. Your desire is within reach is after that, after the flower power card. Have faith as everything is working out in your favor. Okay. So flower power, we already read. Um the top of the deck what is it new home moving is a step in the right direction for you this could also be a relationship change that's heralding a move moving into a new house for some of you remember use your ability to resolve the situation you can do it what is your intuition telling you to do and if you're still struggling with trusting your intuition I'm hearing you can go to another psychic, go to another reader, or get some help from somebody who will listen, who can who's, who can help you out with this, with that intuitive hit you're getting. And it's like, I'm hearing, hey, Jess, I've been getting this in my intuition. Um, can you help confirm something or something like that? Something like that. It doesn't have to be me. I just said it because I said it. All right. Somebody younger than you. Because the Page of Cups is younger. Somebody who has very strong psychic abilities who can kind of assist you. If you're still struggling with trusting, following through with your what your intuition is telling you. So there's something for somebody here about getting help and not being afraid to ask for that help. And not worrying about the money if you need money for that help. So let's see what the guidance is for the beginning of April. There it is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Goose, inner knowing. You are a brave traveler. That's chariot. There's technical travel here. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. That's also traveling on that journey. The willpower to trust in where God is leading you to. Right? Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. She seems like she's flying. She doesn't give a shit. She's having a grand old time. She knows God's got her. For sure. Here's the goose, the inner knowing, that page of cups energy. Your intuition knows, Libra. Trust in it. Bottom of the deck is patience, the heron card. I saw a heron today. Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. Take time alone to find balance. Step confidently toward your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards. So that temperance card is also your purpose. Some of you have a purpose as a healer, healing children, utilizing your psychic abilities to heal people, helping people heal their inner child when you heal yours, okay? Create a place in nature's stillness and be renewed. That's the energy of the temperance card. This is total temperance right here. Find your balance to better understand your purpose. Patience will bring you rewards trust your gut <clears throat>
Uh, now we're going to do your What Needs Healing for the beginning of April 2023. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Pleading Syrians, please reveal to us for highest good. What does Libra need to heal for the beginning of April 2023? Please and thank you. Um, I'll be doing the extended after this. If I didn't say it already, the extended, you know what? They're telling me to hold off on that because they want me to show the cards for whatever reason. I did that in Gemini's reading. But the extended, we're going to do the love reading for April, okay? The energy surrounding that. I'll talk more about that in a little bit. What does Libra need to heal for the beginning of April? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. It's crazy how we are already at the end of March. I mean, Christmas will be here before you know it. Malaluka tea tree. That's right outside my window. My favorite tree that's been on this house for over 40 years. Not on the house, but at the side of the house. Strengthens resilience and confidence. Marjoram soothes and comforts. Uh, Gemini got these. Gemini got this at the bottom of their deck. And this came out. It's coming up again for you guys. Okay. These essential oils could be used in a diffuser. It will help you with these things. I'm going to read the book in a little bit. Okay. You can even have these oils in lotions or buy lotions that have marjoram in them or malaleuca. Uh, bottom of the deck is spearmint. Oh, I love spearmint. Revitalizes and refreshes the spirit. I'm hearing something about Bath and Body Works or something. Right. Lotions, body oils, get a massage and ask them to use spearmint, marjoram, and melaleuca, tea tree oil, okay? It's going to help you because you guys need to relax. You need to have patience. Be at peace with the temperance card. Remember, there's something about worrying, getting hung up on something. Maybe it's hung up on your kids because of the page of cups. Um, Gemini had that message come through. Uh, resilience and confidence. This is that self-esteem that I said, you know what? I'm going to go through with this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Go the distance. Uh, Hercules, right? If you listen to the Ricky Martin song, No Importa La Distancia, I like that better than the Michael Bolton song. No offense to Michael Bolton. He's a great singer, but Ricky's better. Um, <laughs> shout out to Ricky Martin. Uh, yeah, the, um, that song that he sings is phenomenal. Go listen to it. Even if you don't understand the lyrics, you're going to get some willpower from listening to it. Trust me. Trust me. Okay. Marjoram. This is associated with Aphrodite, the goddess of love, beauty, and fertility. Aphrodite might be significant to you. And as a result, was considered a symbol of love and honor. The plant's flowers were used to crown married couples. In 16th century Europe, it was believed that keeping a bunch of marjoram near milk would prevent it from souring. And why am I getting a vision of marjoram around breasts? I'm hearing enhancing the breast milk. Don't ask, guys. I say what I see. Widely used for muscle aches, pain, strains, tightness, and cramping. <laughs> Marjoram essential oil helps soothe and relax the muscles because the heart is also a muscle. It is not surprising that marjoram has been found effective for regulating heartbeat or addressing heart palpitations. It is a restorative herb that can boost energy and alleviate nervous exhaustion and lethargy. Lethargy. I, I don't know how to say it. Whatever. I got to look that up. It is also beneficial for painful joints and circulatory issues. Marjoram essential oil is also an excellent choice whenever a person is prone to worry, stress, and a tendency to overthink. Uh, it is believed to address the feeling that no one cares, whether real or imagined. It can calm obsessive thinking and promotes people's capacity to nurture themselves. During periods of grief, marjoram can help people more readily accept loss. It is also believed to address feelings of neediness and to improve a person's ability to trust. 
Melaleuca tea tree. That tree has been there for forever. All right. It's best known for its antibacterial properties. It's great to be in your first aid kit because it helps kill infections of all kinds. It can be used topically for many different skin conditions. And it, skin conditions. In addition to boosting immunity and resistance to infections, Melaleuca essential oil can boost the spirit. It promotes a positive outlook and helps strengthen confidence. It is particularly suited to people with a delicate constitution or those who feel victimized and doomed. Feelings that can exacerbate their health conditions. That mental state for some of you kind of exacerbates your current health conditions if you have current health conditions. And the bottom of the deck is spearmint. I almost said something else. Somebody's got some sexual thoughts going through their head, like this chariot energy, this sexual drive is just getting them to get going, get in the car and go. Spearmint. It was known as the herb of hospitality in ancient times. It can address many conditions from indigestion to respiratory congestion. It has the ability to reduce high testosterone levels. It can promote weight loss in overweight individuals with PCOD and reduce ovarian cysts. Spearmint essential oil is also antibacterial, anti-catarrhal, helps dissolve and eliminate mucus, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory. It increases energy, boosts mood, and may help alleviate depression. Other studies found that inhalation of spearmint helps improve athletic performance by increasing running speeds of the study participants. It's also believed to help people overcome feelings of physical and emotional weariness. It refreshes and uplifts the spirit so we can heal from the difficulties and emotional pain we face in life. It also boosts optimism, mental clarity, and confidence. Again. I'm telling you guys, this stuff helps. And again, disclaimer, I think it's in my a description box. I am not a medical doctor. No, no, no. Okay, this is guidance, but this is nature to help you, right? Don't go, take it to God, ask your doctor if you need to, whatever, okay? Um, all right, Libra, I'm going to move on to your extended reading. So for the extended, I'm going to use the Twin Flame Journey Tarot to see what energies are surrounding you for the month of April with regards to your love situation, all right? We're then going to use the Romance Angels. Everybody loves the Romance Angels, okay? We're going to use this deck to see what's blocking communication, blocking union, blocking progress. Something needs to move forward, but some of you may be actually blocking something from taking like a quantum leap into something, all right? We're also going to use Indigo Moonlight's Tarot deck, the Twin Flame Love Oracle, Secret Messages of the Union deck, okay? These are big messages to see what's going on with your person for the month. And lastly, we're going to use my first ever deck that I'm so proud of, Divine Masculine Unspoken Words, my one of six, um, to see what messages they have for you. Okay, if you're interested in this deck, by the way, check out the description box for the links on how to purchase this. If you go to capellawellness.com, click on the shop category on my website to purchase your very own deck. All right, Libra. Um, aside from that, I have my Capella memberships where you can get exclusive bonus content. It's like Patreon, but I have it on my own website. Daily guidance meditation videos. Um, it's daily guidance videos and then healing meditation videos. I always kind of jumble that up. Members only live readings. Um, I usually have members only live readings every Wednesday with the exception of my Twin Flame support group readings once a month. A lot of the tiers have different benefits. Some have kind of coaching in them, monthly coaching. Some of them have discounts. Every time you are a member, active member for all of my services, um, there's also a whole bunch of other things that could benefit you and bring value, more value to the insight and awareness you are being given in my free YouTube readings and so on and so forth. I do 
other personal readings as well. If you go to my Capella service suite at capellawellness.com or check out the description box below for links to that. My free mobile app is accessible to those who are interested. You get to directly chat with me there and see what's going on in that world. Um, you can access the bonus content in the free app you if you're just a free member on that app you can see some of the forums that are open to the public and you can get notifications from me on things that i'm doing promotions lives you name it things that i post on youtube that type of stuff uh, any questions you may have please don't hesitate to ask me if this is where i leave you libra thank you so very much for watching this video for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already and for illuminating that thumbs up button i would greatly appreciate it I wish you the best today and always I send you so, so much love and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starring out.